Hey guys, welcome to Pop Sweat. Um, I'm wired up, I'm gonna try to talk while I do this, so bear with me. <laughs> this is Archer. Archer's parents are frontline workers, so I gotta hang out with him every so often when they're working, and he's gonna come and do some Pop Sweat with us. Are you guys excited?
So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a over over a piece of furniture, whatever you have that's super sturdy. So like an ottoman or something like that would be really great for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to teach our dog to go over. Every time they go over, we have to do uh, a burpee ladder. So we're going to do one burpee, they go over, we do two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10. All right. Now how to get your dog to go over, <laughs> right? I would suggest making sure it's something that they are able to do like that. So don't make it too hard. Um, but halfway through the workout, if you want to make it harder, that's totally fine. And when we get started with this, our proximity to the item is really important. And we're kind of making a barrier so then they can't go around. So if you find that your item, you need to have it against something, that's totally fine. They can't go over there. So the only option to receive the item is to go over and, and get it on the other side. And then eventually we can build up to the fact that we're way back here, we're telling them to go over the item. They can choose to go this way if they want to, um, but they know that this is the only way that they can get the item that they really want. Also how you have to get through your burpee ladder over. So, you ready? All right, let's go. him a lot to get him to go over. Um, hopefully the prompting decreases over time and then I can just cue him over and have the toy like this and I can just point out the item that I'm asking him to go over. Uh, but we've got to build up to that. So right now we're prompting and luring him over and when he achieves that, I, that um, behavior, I toss the reinforcer. Alright, so let's get going. And uh, each time we go over, we add one more burpee, okay? So the first time we go over one, second time we go over two, and we're gonna build up to 10, so we're gonna get super sweaty doing this, okay? Let's go.
watching I actually show a bunch of training I did after with Archer, um, getting him to fully jump over his head with me standing way back there. Uh, very, very entertaining uh, watching how that training plan kind of transforms where you start with just prompting the dog and then um, using hand signals or body signals of some sort and then adding the cue on. <laughs> and the sequence of events of that is really important. I think that's the biggest takeaway from this video is your sequence of events with take it, with drop it, and with over. Um, and then hopefully you guys got a good sweat on and had some fun with your dog. And if you guys could, um, hit subscribe. And you guys can definitely check out more uh, pop sweat videos to come. Over.